Alright guys, so what's up? Back with another video. So today I'm going to do a video on how I killed my gator. So I got a short video and some pictures I'll put in at the end. But yeah, so first we went on the Aquaha River in Aquaha, Florida. It's, I'm pretty sure you'd be able to find it on a map if you wanted to look there. But Anyway, so we went out of, I don't remember what boat ramp, but we went out of there. So when we got on, we just started going down the river. And there was a few boats in the parking lot, but we were just, okay. We went out and we, once we got into the river, we just drove up about, I'd say, a mile or so. And then just set out when we saw, we were just looking. I think we saw a gator, yeah. Well, we were looking around in glass and hanging out for a little bit, and then we saw a gator. And at, right when, well, so it ducked into, it's like so on one side. There's a so on one side you're look. We're on the there's a side where it's like some reeds and it's a bank, and it goes up into a levee and down to another, uh, another river I think. And the other side is just marsh and swamp back in there. And it went back in there. So what we did was we took, started the started the boat up, went over, dropped the bait. And dropped another one farther out. We had two baits out, one farther, one closer. And so after we did that, sat there for a while, never came back. And then a different gator farther out... It popped up and we were glassing, looking, looking. Didn't ever go for the bait. And at that point, we heard some boats coming, so we had to reel up. So we reeled up, then waited. They waited for those like three boats to go by. One boat was towing another boat, but so we waited for those those boats to go by. Those three boats went by. Drove back up, dropped one bait, one far bait, and one close bait. Same thing we had going. And we're sitting there. It's been about an hour now. Those gators had enough time to calm down. And they were able to calm down and not have as much pressure, I guess you could say. And then they, we one, we were sitting there looking. And we just see this thing going across the water. And we glass, look at it. It's a gator. And so at that point... We're like, all right, okay, it's going toward the bait. So we're like watching it. And I, th I think I might have a video of it eating the bait and a picture maybe. I'll try and put those at the end too. So we're watching it and it just go takes it back, just eats it, sits there. Get, you'd see it, we watch it eat it. It goes, it eats it, it's gone. The bait's gone. And we're using a two inch peg where it's just like a little two inch piece of wood and so we got beef lung half like it's like a half or a quarter like a quarter of a beef lung and then two inch peg tied off to some gator wire or gator rope or gator line is what it's all connected to connected to a buoy connected to our rod so all that all of that is connected and then mind you this reel has not a lot of line on it so we're thinking that it might, we're going to have to tie off and make something work. Because we have three rods, two of them have hooks in it. So, we're kind of sitting, we let it eat it for dang near close to an hour. And, at that point, we're, we hear, I think, another boat coming by. So we, because there was like three or four boats, and that was three of the four boats. So we're like, all right, let's go. We got to go now, because that boat's going to come by. It's going to get back into the swamp, and we're not going to be able to get it. So it ends up going to, we can see the buoy. It's like a bright lime green buoy. So when we see it, it cuts off to the right. At this point, the gator is underwater. And it cuts off to the right. 
and we're watching it, just looking at it through. It's about, I think, 70, 80 yards away, maybe 100 yards away. And we're just watching it, watching it, waiting there. All right, so we get to go now because that boat's coming. So we're going. We're, we ease up to it. With a thing in, we ease up to it. My dad's pulling on it. <laughs> and then they see it. They get a treble hook in it with a big saltwater rod. And then... Right, my brother gets a hook in it. It's like right at the boat at this point. My brother gets a hook in it. And then, right when that happens, one of the, uh, one of the um, hooks came out. My, the guy that took us out, his hook came out. So that's, uh, that's off. And that gator's rolling and rolling and rolling, getting himself tied up. So he sets the rod down. We get the, what is it called? The harpoon ready. The tip of it's on and everything is connected. So all we got to do is get it time to harpoon it. I couldn't get it just the way it was. So my dad did it, got that. And it was pretty much done at that point. The buoy's out. That's like some thick ropes on it. So it's pretty much, pretty much good now. So we're kind of just letting it get itself tired out. And it takes about two, three minutes, not much, to get that gator tired out. So it's tired out now. All right, so there we get the bank stick ready, and this is an eight foot nine gator, so it's a pretty dang big gator. So we're getting the bank stick ready. He says, "All right, you're ready. Whenever you're ready, just try and hit it behind the skull, which is his like neck. It's like neck area, I guess you could say. It's not going. So I hit it again. It's not going. He said, "Hit it harder. I hit it hard. It's not going." And he, my dad's like, "Check the safety." And he's like, I'm pretty sure I did it all the way. So there's two safeties on it. One's like a pin you had to pull out, and other ones you gotta twist down. He forgot to twist the one down, twist the thing down. So as I twisted it down, bang, and then we killed it. So now, so now I'm gonna put in the pictures and videos. Yeah. Yeah. It's like Will's first time. Ready? Yep. Hit him. Lights out. Hammered in, son. Good job. <laughs> Good job! Look at those air bubbles. Just stay away from that mouth. We gotta get some YouTube. We'll hit them again. I got them in the boat. Hey, Luke. Sneaky. How was it? Good. What'd you get? Night and day, baby. Night and day. Night and day. <laughs> oh man, you got a good one. Good job. How's it feel? Good. Good. Good job, Brett. Good job, John. Thank you. Y'all see why I kept saying it's a team effort? <laughs> yeah. Everyone's gotta work. Awesome. <laughs> Very cool. So yeah, a lot of times when the bang stick goes